There is something comforting about snow. It's a funny thing. Not sure exactly what it is, but I think it's the only consistent thing that we can regu regularly count on. Always being there. Always showing up. Always with us. That's snow. We can always depend on snow throughout some time of the year. And it just kind of lingers. It just kind of hangs on your side. You just can't shake it sometimes. And just becomes that cancer that just won't let go. A cancer that could ultimately take everything that you've got or a cancer that will express the true strength and brilliance within the stock. So I'm seeing blue sky on the horizon there, so that's the only optimistic thought on this whole little rant. And the wind, and the snow, and the cold. <clears throat> All we can do is drop some pails and give these girls some feed. That's our pail set up. We just have, we just do everything gravity fed. It just simplifies everything. Requires a little more work, but you know whatever. Going through, I'm just popping out these lids, these caps, and I'm not having to make so much space with the patties that are on these colonies. They've been on for about a week. And they're nicely consuming things. By the time we get back around to these girls, we're going to have to bring a second patty out for them. We're making use of that protein. Oof. Certainly not happy. Hi. <laughs> I guess I'm dressed like a bear, so I gotta kind of expect that. <laughs> so that's good to see the uh, these hives consuming patties. Optimism on the horizon. Oh, and the sun just come out. Look at that. Yeah. So we've been dodging snow squalls all day long. Now the sun's come back out and these bees are flying again. It's just been a crazy day. It feels good when the bees are flying, but when those snow squalls come through, you're just wondering what the hell are we doing out here? But it's good. We're able to, we haven't done it. We weren't doing any bee work. We're just feeding. So we'll, that's one nice thing about these pails is it allows us to, it's kind of a love-hate relationship with these bloody pails. It allows me to, you know, feed these bees when it's cold and not have, actually have to break open the nest to be able to get at them. 
and it's quick. But I hate these pails, oh, I hate them. Take so long, you gotta fill them up and take them all out to the hives and put them onto the hives and some drip and, oh, and then the wind, when the, the wind will start blowing them off and the skunks will come and knock them off and, and it's just a sticky syrup mess. But at any rate, there is a much rather rather of uh, fed through those open feeders. But if we're just not getting the days for them to be able to fly out to bring back that syrup, then I got to take the syrup to them and provide it for them. And just come to that point where I have to make sure there's syrup on these colonies. So that's two yards done. There's 420 or so here. In this yard and I have another three yards to do so we'll chip away at it tomorrow hopefully get some bee work done on Wednesday